This is your KSAN News at 10. All right, welcome back. Well, we just finished wrapping up the ninth performance, and I am joined here with Rory Limmel. How was that from out there? Oh, it was outstanding. Another great perfect San Angelo. Yeah, a lot of action, a lot of more big names like Trevor Brazil. We got to see him compete today. You know, when Trevor Brazil, the 24-time champion of the world, teams up with a legend, a man that was in John Wayne movies and a seven-time champion of the world, it's just superpowers. Absolutely, and stuff like that is what makes San Angelo want to come out and see this. And we saw a lot of great things, so let's go ahead and take a look at those highlights. Well, we start with the lasers, of course, and the pyrotechnics. It's all fun. But what's fun about the last weekend? There's the legend, Bob Tallman. There's the greatest announcer that ever took a breath. He's teamed up with Boyd Paul Amos as we get right with the steer wrestling. Sam Williams, the Texan, comes in with a no time. It's a tough night in the steer wrestling tonight. Let's go to Oglala, South Dakota. This is Billy Bolden now. Bolden gets down, has a little trouble. Six and three. It's not the fastest run of the night. It's his traveling partner. Long Valley, South Dakota, third generation cowboy. This is young Carson Good. Six flat. Hey, he's got a shot to come back for the short round. He sure does. Oh, and you got to love when the kiddos come out to watch, too. <laughs> uh, they're all there watching their heroes. And here's the biggest heroes of the night Trevor Brazil, Clay O'Brien Cooper. Man, teams have got to uh, really get scared to see this legendary pair get together. And it is a four and nine. and. And team rope in terms, that's a pantyhose when you catch him up that high. <laughs> Great time, four and nine. Now to Daniel Reed, Curry Kirchner, Guthrie names Oklahoma, four and six. They're in good shape, but the fastest run of the night goes to Kelsey Parchman and Matt Kasner. Tennessee, Nebraska team, look at how fast this run is. These two have been knocking on the door. Let's see if they can do it at San Angelo. Yes, they can. Four and four. That's the fastest run of the night. Yeah, and speaking of good teams, we see the San Angelo Rodeo Ambassadors. That's a great group of girls. I mean, they seem nice, smart, and I, man, the coordination to have the timing down for that, just perfect. Well, military night and a patriotic opening as we roll right to some highlights from the bareback riding. This young man lives in Rochelle, Georgia now, but he comes by way of New York, a great rodeo family. That's Dalen Swergen. Not the best ride for him, 64 points. As you can see, Cody Lamb had the best ride of the night from Sherwood Park, Alberta, 86 points. He now moves to the number two spot. He sure did move his way up, and oh, there was another little cowboy. Let's stay in Canada now in the Bronx riding. Clay Elliott, Natton, Alberta. Here's a man that's done good in San Angelo in the past. He's a national finalist. He rides Get Back Jack for 78 points as we go right now to Sam Harper. Paradise Valley, Nevada. Brown-eyed girl, 81 points. That's a hard horse to ride. He does it pretty good as we go now to the man that's going to make waves, Zeke Thurston. Here's a world champion bronc rider, and you can see why. Aces Wild comes from Rafter H. Rodeo out of Oklahoma. 88 and a half points. That's our brand new leader right here in San Angelo. Absolutely. So, you know, performances just like that is what consisted of the highs of the night. And then, you know, like we mentioned earlier with steer wrestling, we had some low points too. Well, they're letting it hang, all hang out because there's one more performance and then we move to our short round where the top 12 contestants over the three weeks get it on. So uh, we're going to see more action tomorrow night, just like tonight. Everybody going for it. Absolutely. And you know there's going to be a great crowd there. I mean, Valentine's Day, it's hard to believe that's already here, but it's about time for that. And uh -oh. then, yeah, the big guns, it's time to get serious. It's going to be fun tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, Rory, thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're probably tired after another performance, but thank you so much for being here. And we'll have more KSAN News right after the break. This rodeo update is sponsored by Twin Mountain Fence.